Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today we're going to get started with programming with PHP and uh, today I'm going to show you how to install everything you need to program in PHP on a Windows machine. So the f uh, in order to program in PHP what you need is a, you need a couple of things. You need a web server, you need PHP itself and you need you well, you don't actually need a database depending if maybe if you have a very simple program that doesn't store any data but you generally also want a database of some sort so you can make more complex programs that save data retrieve data from the database and so on so usually a popular choice is apache apache is a web server uh, mysql is a is the database and of course php is php this is not uh, it doesn't have to be apache and MySQL, but this is a very popular option. And if you go, actually, if you try to host your website anywhere, you'll find that these are the options that are usually available. So what you want to do, obviously, is go to download for Windows here. So what we're, what we're downloading here, sorry, uh, Uniform Server, it's basically, it's a package. It combines all these uh, three things into one one program, sort of. So it's very easy to get started. It's used for development on your local machine before you you actually push your program to a, to a host, to a web server, to an external web server at least. So you want to go download for Windows here. So Chrome, I have a ad blocker here that's blocking this website. I'm just going to allow it. You won't get that, so don't worry about that. You want to go to the latest one, whichever is the latest one. So right now this one right here and you want to download uh, this executable over here so just download that and download to start any moment save that file what you also might want to get is composer so composer is a dependency manager for PHP and if you ever go out and try to download a, a PHP framework or some sort of library most of them will ask you to use composer to to pull the library down so I'm just gonna download that as well and I'm gonna show you how to install that so you want to find the Windows installer down here composer setup so now we're just going to wait for these two things to download and then we'll continue okay so we're done with that so I have these two items on my desktop now so first thing is uh, you want to install the uniform server what it is here is a, a self-extracting zip file just gonna double click that now you should probably extract it to a more you know safe location i'm just gonna put it on the desktop here just because we're you know just for ease of learning right now just gonna extract that it doesn't actually require any installation once you extract the files you're almost good to go. So just one little trick here in the latest version of this uh, uniform server I have to show you. So this, uh, like I said, includes uh, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. The, the, the latest one I'm downloading right now includes PHP version 7. But you can also get uh, older versions if you need them because what you want to do usually is have the same environment on your development machine as the server you're going to use and most servers right now I mean most web hosts out there don't have PHP version 7 yet so it extracted this file here Unicef Z just gonna open that now you'll see there's this file here must read that's kind of important because I struggled a lot I didn't read that file the first time I tried to install this thing so what you need to do is install this uh, Visual C Plus redistributable for Visual Studio 2015 Update 1. You need to get this from Microsoft and install it. So what you want to do is want to copy that there. And you want to pay attention that you, you need to download the x86 version, the 32-bit version of this package. So you're going to go to the, to the address here. taking its time right so you wanna go download here and you wanna choose this one right here 
now I already have this on my machine so I'm just going to install the one I have I don't want to download it all over again you just press next to start download so it's this file right here just double click that now I already have it installed so obviously if you didn't have it you you'd have an install option here instead of uninstall you just install that it's quick it takes two minutes okay so yes so after you've installed that you can now run your uniform server so run this control panel now if you get any error like this it, it means there's another program that's using the port that the uniform server wants to use so in my case here it's saying the application is vmware because i'm running vmware on my, my, my machine you probably won't get this or if you do get it you, it could be another program that's running on your machine so for example skype or some programs take up some ports which uh, are required for uniform server so what i'm going to do here I'm just going to go to the task manager and kill this uh, vmware host Oops. Ah, here you go. This one right here, right? And task. That's that. Start it again. Okay, and it's already running. Nope, it's not already running. Okay, I have to kill that as well. Uniform, 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 uniform. Yeah, there it is. Kill that as well. That's because of the error, I think it gets a little confused. Now, so that's it. The first time you start this up, it will ask you for a password for your da default database. I mean, for the root user of the database. So, since this is just on our machine, we can enter any stupid password like password. Never do that if you're going to actually put this thing in production. So I'm just going to put password so we can remember it later. And I'm going to be doing like a... Okay, so password has changed. Now this control panel pops up. So if you go to this menu over here, you will see you have the PHP version 7. You can install these as well from the same website. If you want to get an older version of PHP, you can do that. One thing I want to do here is uh, the PHP configuration file. You want to choose the development one. So this means it will show you errors uh, in your program. If you put it in production, it won't show the errors. So it will just fail silently because when you put your website out in production, you don't want people to see errors because those could be security issue. So I'm going to choose development here. I'm going to start Apache that turns green and this website pops up. I'm going to start my SQL as well. Website pops up. Now, the way you access this uh, website is you go to localhost. Local. So what localhost is, is your local machine, obviously. So the web server is running on your local machine. It displays this web page. So, everything seems to be running correctly. If we go to, to our uniform server folder, and we go into the www folder we can create our projects in here so for example i'm going to create a new folder here just call it test open that now if i go to back to my local local host and i refresh this website you'll see there's a test folder here i can click that now i have nothing i, I don't have any website in my test folder so nothing shows just gonna create a text file here. Uh, new, 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 new. So I'm gonna create a PHP file right now, right? So uh, index.php, which is usually the the first uh, the first uh, web page of your website. I'm gonna edit that. You can edit uh, PHP files in any text editor. There's a, a very nice little program called Atom. If you want, you can download that. It's a pretty cool text editor for programming. But any any text editor we do, even Notepad, but uh, Notepad would be a pain. So I'm just gonna put a simple 
program here save that and if I reload our local host where is it ah here you go if I reload this test website you see you will see our website pops up hello world so this is actually our first PHP program so you should be very proud now another thing I want to show you to install is uh, again uh, like I mentioned composer we downloaded that already so we're gonna just install that I just clicked it the security box comes up click yes and just go next now here uh, I recommend you choose install sh shell menus so that will include some nice options in your right click menu whenever you right click in a folder there will be some composer options so install next uh, now what you need to do here is point this to your PHP file I mean PHP program so we extracted this folder here right so you're gonna go browse now okay you can try to go browse Right, so uh, for me it's showing here already because I had previously also installed this composer, so it just picked up the location. But for you, it, it would be empty like this. So you just go browse, go to wherever you've put your server. Oh, do, 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 desktop, desktop. Da -da. Then you want to go to core, php7, php.exe. Open that one. Right, just click next because it this, it needs to know the location of PHP in order to work. Install, and it takes a minute. It's actually downloading some things off the internet. Right, so it's showing you a, a bit of information there. In order to to use Composer for the first time, if you have, you need to either open a new command window. So command window is the is this thing here. Or you, you need to you, you do one of the other things. So close all Explorer interests. So close all of these. One of them. You, you have to just do one of them. Or you can log on and log off. Log off and log on to Windows. Right. So finish. Now Composer should be installed. I'm gonna run the command window again. So on Windows 10, you just right click here and choose a command prompt. I'm gonna choose with admin. So this run as administrator. And I'm gonna test this out and just go see composer. Uh, I forget what the command composer minus v. No, that's wrong. Oh, capital V. Right. So that, that gives you the composer version that's installed there. So if you see that pop up, you're probably good. So what you're gonna do now is just test uh, test it if see if it works. So sorry back to our project folder our test project folder so if i right click here you'll see there these composer options here so this was the shell menu option then during the installation i'm going to choose use composer here and then we're going to find uh, something to to fetch with our composers uh, like a framework so i know there's a framework called slim So Slim is a PHP sort of micro fr framework used to to build APIs and uh, websites, uh, RESTful APIs and websites. So and you'll see usually PHP libraries and frameworks have some instructions on how to get them. So in this case, it's using Composer and it's telling you to run this command, right? So we're gonna copy that, run that in there just right click in there and it paste it automatically press enter so what it does then it goes out over the internet it pulls down this uh, this framework into into our folder here it creates a couple of files here if you you should probably read the composer documentation it's pretty simple so this uh, composer.json because you can have multiple dependencies in your project so you can have multiple frameworks multiple libraries you're using so this basically say, says your project requires slim and this is the slim framework and this is the version it requires so it go and pull that down for you 
so this actually downloads off the internet so it takes a while if you have a slow internet connection like me and the actual files go into this folder you see it created this vendor folder so the actual files will go into here somewhere this is slim and there are some composer files also right so that's done uh, it also creates this log file so the log file tells uh, basically tells composer to lock this version for this project so if in case someone else copies uh, copies your uh, wants to also so let's say you're working with multiple people right so you need to be both on the same version of all the dependencies so it sort of locks to to this particular uh, the one we just installed here yeah. or something like that I'm not an expert in composer anyway so that's that so f uh, slim framework is now been installed take a simple example here there's an example where did it go uh -huh. here you go right I'm gonna copy the whole thing so this basically tells it uh, if someone goes to well this is a little too complicated I'm gonna simplify that so if someone goes directly to your website without any any route so those these are uh, these are called routes this uh, so slash something slash something uh, right I'm gonna remove that because we, we're not we're not passing any name here right I'm gonna save that I think that's correct let me check that da, 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 da. okay so our website should just say hello this is slim now save that go back to our website page not found da, 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 da. oh sorry 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 see I, I screwed up here I deleted too much uh, let's see what is it I deleted not enough there I left that little curly bracelet in there Hey, hello this is slim right so everything is working composer is working PHP is working now we're good to go see you in the next tutorials